vlog on today is Tuesday, February 16th. I had a pretty good weekend, so I hope you guys had a good weekend as well. This weekend, we went to the stores. Finally, some restrictions have been lifted, so we took advantage of that and we went out and bought a lot of stuff, mostly because it's been a really long time since we were able to buy specific things. We weren't allowed to buy like kitchenware and school supplies and clothes all the stuff that you would normally be able to buy most of the time we were not allowed to buy for a while it was nice going to the stores i definitely went to the art store my brother-in-law got me a desires gift card for christmas if you don't know what desires is it's an art store here in canada and i finally got myself a needle punch i saw that they were selling them there and i was super super excited i just got this one here and i've been playing around with it and I've been having a lot of fun. I have a new friend here that is Stuart. So my husband wanted to get some plants for the apartment and I was super surprised when he said that, you know, we don't have all the space here so we have to be kind of smart with what we get. I've been really obsessed with Stuart. I have no idea how to be a plant mom. I read a little bit about succulents. I've been making sure that he's been okay and I will try my best to be a good plant mom so today i'm just gonna keep messing with the needle plant i'm really interested in like still trying to figure out how it works i would definitely like to make some stuff in the future with them if i can figure it out it'd be neat to make like little bags and stuff with it this is the monk's cloth i also got at the sears it's not that much of it left so i'm hoping i can figure it out before it runs out but We'll see how it goes. Let's create another little design to punch and hopefully it'll come out nicer this time. So let's get started.
11 today is Wednesday, February 17th, and yesterday I worked on some more punch needle. I've been really, really enjoying it. Actually, I made this cat, and it's Jamie, and it's so cute. I'm not sure what this will be. Maybe a coaster? I know a lot of people make coasters out of them, and they also make them as, like, plant rugs. So, Stuart over here has a heart one, the first one I made. So he's just like chilling on it. I think that would be too big for a patch. What do you think? Also made these trees, which I'm really, really proud of. They're from a template that I created. And this is supposed to be like the bark of the tree as well, going upwards. And I think it looks super cute. I made two of them. Like this one's chunkier and this was longer, even though they were made from the same template. But I think that's probably because I keep having problems with having to stretch the monk's cloth over this wooden hoop and yeah it's just not fun sometimes so yeah i'm probably gonna have to figure out a way to keep the monk's cloth from moving so much i had originally planned to make these two keychains but i honestly don't know this is smaller than the patch so i think these would be cute as pens or patches so last night i started on like a new set of art and i want to show you guys what it is this is what i'm worked on last night it is a bunch of greenery and a new mr sun so we're called that sunny jr i guess this is the color palette that i chose to work with and basically what i'm planning to do is i'm gonna probably draw another tree and this tree is inspired from the tree that you guys just saw from the punch needle and the plan is to have like different colored flowers so you can create your own little scene in your journal or whatever you decide to put them in. It's really really neat and I'm gonna keep working on it. So yeah, let's get started. Today is Thursday, February 18th. Yesterday I finished the artwork of Sandy Jr. and the flowers and the tree and the bushes and I'm really happy with how they turned out. I took a lot longer to finish it than I thought I would because I kept getting distracted but we're finally done and it's ready to go. Yesterday I made a new stationery on paper and I'm really really happy with it. I love the color combination and the color palette for this. I need to clean out my desk because it still has everything from needle punching on it. The Mr. Sun stationery paper, which is the first stationery paper I ever made. I probably shouldn't change it so it's 5x7 and not the size that it is right now because I think this is the only stationery paper I have in my shop that's not 5x7. And I also need to put the new Mr. Sun artwork on there. I redrew this done another time and it looks better think about having a shop update next friday which would be february 26th i have quite a few products that i need to put up yeah so today's goal is to clean my desk put the new stationery paper let's get started <music>
look how cute this cat is. We got dinner from Top Line, which is a pasta place here. And yeah, that cat is so cute. Hello everyone, today is Friday, February 19th. I know last week I said I was gonna work more on Stella, which is the pink bear I was working on last week. But while I started working on her last night, I was thinking about what do I really actually want to do with her. Most of the time when I start a project, I know what I wanna do. But for some reason with Stella, I was a little confused with what I was gonna do with her. It's like, am I also going to turn her into a stationary paper or if i'm just going to turn her into a die cut sticker i i don't know yet that would be it for this vlog thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye